Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Jill Klassen. And I'm Lieutenant Commander Kelly Williamson. We're standing here on board HMCS Calgary with HMCS Vancouver right behind us, getting ready to slip and proceed to sea for the at sea portion of RIMPAC. Once underway, ships will remain at sea for approximately 20 days and will participate in a range of training activities from torpedo and missile firings to boarding serials and off to the watch maneuvers. RIMPAC has made it a priority to ensure that the ecosystems that live in the ocean here remain unharmed. One of the ways this is done is through marine mammal lookout training. Leading seaman Christopher Morrow told us a little bit more. Basically kind of shoo them away and then we listen for them and if there's any in the water we turn them off right away. So we have to know not only what they look like as sonar ops, but what they sound like. So we spend a lot of our training listening to nothing but whales, shrimp, dolphins, so that we can quickly identify it. HMCS Vancouver's dive team recently conducted a familiarization dive with Australian counterparts from HMAS Ballarat. Here's Sub-Lieutenant Sean Catterall to tell us a few details. We got together, loaded all of our stuff up in the rib, and uh, took off out of the harbour to uh, find a place called Ewa Pinnacles. It's supposed to be one of the best dive sites in uh, the Pearl Harbor area. We got there, did our dive, saw the reef, it was awesome. Uh, and while we were there, a little bit of a cultural exchange with the Australians, seeing how they work, uh, they see how we work. There's actually remarkable uh, similarities between us. In order to remain operational 24-7 and to ensure that all 1,500 participants from Defence have everything they need to conduct the exercise, a lot of work needs to be done behind the scenes. Things such as making sure there's lights at night and there's enough fuel to run the camp. Leading seaman Teddy Nelms, deployed currently on RIMPAC with the Air Task Force, tells us a little bit more. You have the different elements of the, of the ATF, so you got to, the supply techs and the clerks and, and the construction guys and, and all that, and we're sort of holding all that together. So as, as, as if they're all the pieces of the puzzle, we're the glue holding it all together. We sort of, um, we keep everything running without being noticed. And that's, that's what we like to do. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned in coming weeks for more updates from RIMPAC. And we will see you next time. For Defense Team News, Aloha. Aloha.